Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Water Horse. We are here with Mr. Mike Inman, who's my co-host okay. today. Hey, nice to be here. Thanks I'm, for having I'm, me I'm, back. I'm glad you're back. I'm, you make me feel a lot comfortable when you sit <laughs> next to me right here. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. All right, absolutely. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. Welcome back to this edition of Water Horse. Like I said, I have Mr. Mike Emman right here with me as a co-host. I think Mike going to do some announcements here. Yeah, probably. I guess we got some, uh, we are in the season now. Yes, sir. So we are. Officially started, so since the last time I came, mm -hmm. it is, uh, it has begun, and I uh, want to make everybody aware, of course, you have this weekend, the uh, Walking in the Smokies show. Yes. Uh, over in Sevierville. Uh, if you need to get information, contact Lexi Helton. Uh, she's at 828-550-8520. Uh, starting time uh, each night is 5.45, and uh, see the judges are going to be Jamie Bradshaw, Stephen Hankins, and Amy Tremble. And then uh, what we'll be two weeks after that is the Elkoe Spring Fling. Okay. It, it's over in Cleveland, Tennessee. I went to that last year. Great facility. Yeah, it is. It's a nice Fantastic, place. Fantastic nice. uh, uh, show ring. Real easy to see around it. The warm-up ring is outside, but it, uh, no, part of it is, is covered now. It's covered, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the best stalls you're going to have yes. to a travel show around anyway. It's just a fantastic It facility. is a no nice it show. It is a good one. And uh, that's in uh, uh, McDonald, Tennessee, which is just down the road, I think, four or five miles, yeah. two exits, something like that. Uh, Bill uh, Doherty at 423 836 3607 is your uh, show manager. Uh, starts at 6 o'clock every evening. And then the judges there are Chad Adams, Keith Blackburn, and Claire Hankins. Yeah. Okay, so it's another three-judge show, which uh, I always like those so much. Uh, then uh, let's see, the following week is uh, there in Shelbyville, the Racking Horse Breeders Celebration show is going to be April 24th to the 27th. Uh, starts at 5 o'clock every day at Cooper Arena. Uh, Mar uh, Marissa Dawson, 256 three five three seven 
1-800-222-5225. She's your contact person. Um, and the judges there are Ryan Parker. And then we got the husband-wife duo, it looks like here, Amber Zand and Chris Zand. I mean, I've never seen yeah. right, well, you know, that before. Well, I tell you what, if there's not an argument before the show, yeah, there'll probably be one after afterwards. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But, but uh, uh, they signed up for it, so yes. they get what they mm -hmm. get uh, on that regard. Now, and they also have two alternate judges. Uh, Brett Carter and Dale Watts, okay. in case they need to be yeah. called on. Mm -hmm. So that's that's uh, three shows. Uh, um, we're going full force now. That that'll be the remainder of, of uh, April. So yes. that'll be good. I can't wait for them shows to come on. That's a good lineup of shows coming. It, up right it is, and and I have to say, if you're going to Sevierville, yeah, and it's a multi-day show, you got to go get some dinner. Yes, I, I'm gonna uh, testify for Fort Worth. Steakhouse. That, that's, I, that's, I've been there, and that's, that's a nice that's place. A that's, I, that's a good one. That's a good place. And you can tell I don't miss many meals, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm really good on that. So. But those, those are good. good And like I said, the when you shift over to the Cleveland show, uh, there's no better facility. If you haven't been, it's right off the interstate. It's yes. real mm -hmm. easy to get to. And like I said, it's a first-class facility uh, in every regard it's really a pleasant place a really top quality yes. nice place mm -hmm. to put on a horse it show. is it is a nice place yeah. mike let's talk about the show this weekend mm -hmm. what you what you i think it was uh indicative of what we're facing yes. here this this year which is a, a serious thing where uh we are uh, facing a, a rulemaking that is designed to eliminate our breed yes uh, fortunately, we have uh, in, not only been in preparation for that, but have stepped out ahead and actually brought a, a suit against the USDA uh -huh. for what is unconstitutional. Yes. Uh, uh, they're, they're calling for me now. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, that's uh, right. Uh, uh, unconstitutional uh, enforcement of the Horse Protection Act uh -huh. or enactment of this enforcement. And, uh, uh, you can kind of see that's ruffled a few feathers, but so be it. Yes. Uh, can uh, just ask people to continue to bring their horses like you always do that are compliant with the Horse yes. Protection Act. And if uh, something would happen that is not in compliance with the Horse Protection Act and it prevents you from showing a compliant horse, uh, we got just keep doing the right thing, let's gather information, and go on. Uh, now that's just one part of it. The yes. other part of it, there were some outstanding horses. Oh yeah, they had some outstanding, outstanting horses. horses. Yeah. And, and, and some very good showing, and good brand new horses that we hadn't seen. Yes. Some we hadn't seen since last uh, uh, fall, uh, that we've forgotten how good they were, and some that have improved, improved which is yeah. why I love especially I, your, your three and four year olds. Yes, I have seen a lot of improvement in a lot of horses over the break, over the yeah. winter time, you know, yes. just by me watching the different horses and you like, Man, and that horse has stepped up on a whole new level now this year. Yes. And everything. It, it is amazing to me. Uh, Karen and I, my wife, and I talk about it all the time. You can't believe the natural athletic ability of this horse that it continues to get developed. I guess it's like in other professional, professional sports. Yeah. Uh -huh. You see, man, how can the, they get so big and be yeah. so coordinated and go so fast and do so much? And our horses are doing the same thing. And, and actually, I'll tell you what else I see a lot uh, is we have a very handsome horse. Yes. To uh, uh -huh. a, a fire, you just look through the years how much more fi refined the horse yes. is and uh, you know we look for the keen ear and all uh -huh. that and, and we say pretty is pretty yeah, does. does. That's right. But uh, it, it, it's really uh, pretty impressive not only how talented these horses are, but how attractive they are, and it goes to you know, the care and the breeding. That's that right, but you know, a long time ago, everybody used to think of a Tennessee walking horse with the big jug head, the mm -hmm. big ears, the big long body, mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but now all these horses and they can king themselves up a little bit, and I mean, look real pretty horses, I mean, like. Very, very much so. Yeah, they're, You're real, right. they're real nice looking horses. I mean, I would get to watching the horses at the horse show, and you get to looking at them, and, Every once in a while, you see that old Tommy Bloodline horse that show mm. up, and the, but most of the horses you see in there are very, very, very beautiful horses. Yes, very, very refined and tremendous gait. Uh, of course, our natural gait, and it's, it's just impressive and and uh, a blast to ride, which is good to see. Yeah, it is, it is. But I just want to say one thing. I think show and all of them has done a good job mm -hmm. inspecting the horses. Yes. Or whatever you know, I can't help for what the other side does, but I mean, they, 
I think they do it, and they doing a, a good, terrific job. Yeah, absolutely. No, yes. the, the, they are, and like I said, just a testament to to all of us that just said continue to do the right thing, continue to bring your great horses up, and yeah. have a good time. Yes, um, I think we're gonna show some videos here. This is Carol right here, yes. down there at the Philadelphia Mississippi Horse Show. Yes, which is that's, also a nice place. That is, that's, that was a real, that's a real nice horse right there. Miss Carol, mm -hmm. she's been in the business for a long time. Yeah, and that and horse, I think she showed him his first few years in uh, regular paddy but, classes, yeah, yes. and now has taken him to a park performance, uh -huh. and he's excelling there. And, uh, you know, again, that's a testimony. We talk to people, testimony of the athletic ability of this horse and the different divisions that we have eight different divisions yes to show your horse in to compete so that that's the versatility of this horse that's right incredible but now that horse there is a, is a nice horse he's a fine example of it yes it's, and, he's it's real, and they're nice good horse. folks and they uh, uh that's a very talented horse and we got the trainer sh we got the trainer show some videos from that okay. this horse here is with um robin nims i'm gonna tell you robin nims is kind of taking over the jeff gibbons he, yes, he has. In the he model is, class. He yeah. is leading the way. For that. Yes. Yeah. Well, they say all, all championships got to go through Robert Nell yeah, first. He's going to meet him mm -hmm. uh, to win on. But he's a uh, real good competitor. We've got a great eye for the horse and a great trainer. And uh, we have a Beth Beasley on that horse. So she's got under saddle and uh, halter horses both. That's right. Got to win. This horse here is a real nice horse. This horse here has been in the Blue Ribbon Circle a lot. Yes. Right here. Yeah. And Mr. For Real, I mean, I think. Joyce Myers showed him mm -hmm. and won yes. with him, yes. and then Paul Simmons owned him, and yeah. and does yeah. win it now. Dahlia, yeah. Smith Hart is on it. Yeah, yeah, she does, and she does a great job. Yeah, and, and did they train this horse too? I don't know. No, this they they got that horse was was Sam Martin. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, he yep. uh, he certainly does. He walks and those uh, arms do it for real. Yeah, uh, they'll have a back end and wear the bridle and do it the right way. I tell you that. Um, deal for real, he's getting some good coats on the ground out there. He is. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a nice horse. He's very talented. And, yes. This horse here was real good. The short queen. Mm -hmm. And of course, that'll always be the four year old Marin Gelding. By now, that becomes one of the deepest class, amateur classes of the show. You're right. Amateur four year old Marin Gelding and show pleasure. Generally, when I was doing horse shows and, and, and tracking the results. Yes. That division, by that time, you start getting top level geldings to go with the good mares yep, you by the right four year old year. And uh, to win that class is quite an accomplishment. As being a young rider like she is, going against the mad out there. She's yeah, oh, real, a little stress there. That's right. Hey, she won't admit it, but there's a little stress yeah. there and a little satisfaction more so when you get it done. Yeah. Oh, Mayor Bill, now he's, yeah. he's another real good horse in that performance class right there. Yeah. And, and uh, we talk about every division is difficult. And there's an example of uh, the horses continue to develop and improve, and just uh, just impressive. You know, I this think. horse was showing some of the performance class in the state classes, some with Dan. Yes. And then they dropped him down. Yeah. I mean, he's just talented in that class. And, and that's that. again, like we talked about, that's the yeah. beauty of it. You mm -hmm. you'll find a spot where they can be very competitive that's right. in multitude of divisions and will excel in one or two and it's just uh, uh it just shows the value of these horses this horse is a nice horse hannah does a good job with them pleasure yeah, horses yeah uh, H uh, hannah i thought they were going to have to enact the maximum blue ribbon at a show shot off on her yeah. she was doing <laughs> so good uh, uh at the, the uh, uh, fast show it was, yes. it was uh, really impressive she, has, uh, and again, in, in, in different divisions from all day pleasure, trail bug, yes. country pleasure. It's, it's, yeah. This horse here is, I mean, is a, is a real natural going horse. And a lot of people got to realize these trail pleasure horses, they got a different gait than the country pleasure and mm -hmm. the light shot. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing. This horse here is a good mm -hmm. picture of that class right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this horse right here, this in scout, but Megan now. He's a nice horse. No, yeah, he, he's he's an exceptional horse. Very, very great uh, performance every time he comes out. This was no exception. Yeah. Uh, he's just a very uh, big, sweet horse, too. Yeah. I've been around him in barn, just got a lot of personality. Even though he's really big, he just, he just 
Uh, he'd probably crawl on your lap if you let him. Megan had worn her share of blue ribbons mm -hmm. in her life, in her time that. of showing. Yeah, she is. She's a beautiful rider, good, yes. a good example of great equitation right. while you're riding. Uncle Beth on Zorro's Jr. right here. Mm -hmm. That was a nice horse. Yes. That's a real nice horse. I'm so glad that Beth is showing a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, she always supported them kids a lot. Now mm -hmm. she's back showing a lot more now. Yeah. Well, she did a great job reserve, especially here at the trainer show, but then won this past but week at the yeah, fast show. show. Uh -huh. So uh, he's uh, he's really special. She does a great job riding him, and you're right. She's she's getting a lot more saddle so time not, now yeah. than she has in the last couple of years. And always very pleasant. This is the thing yeah. I like about our breed. You can win one time, or you can be second or third, and then next week you can come back and win, where thoroughbreds, you know, most of the time, either you mm -hmm. lose or win. You know, you yeah. don't got that. Yes. This horse here is yeah. a nice horse. Bob, I mean. Well, Bob always has good ones. He's yes. got very good ones. And uh, this uh, horse at the top of a very competitive class here uh, is a reserve winner. And then uh, uh, came back his three-year-old open horse. Yes. Put on uh, probably one of the most impressive horses of this last week's show, the fast show. Was outstanding. Yeah. It's another good horse right here. Mm -hmm. I'm Charlie Black. Dahlia, and, you know, like I said, yeah. Dahlia does a, a wonderful job presenting the horse. Yes. Yes, you always, you're, you're. Her and her very, dad, is, I mean, very, some nice people. Yeah, that's right. And uh, sit well in the saddle yes. and, and uh, show their horse well. And, and uh, that makes a difference. Oh, it does. Is, uh, that uh, how the rider behaves and looks. Is an important part of the presentation. Yeah, and how you even for non the, yeah, even non equitation right. classes, mm -hmm. it's important. Yeah. Now this horse right here, a couple of years ago, come out from nowhere, and nobody know where he come from. But I'm mm -hmm. gonna tell you, it's a real nice horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, timing is great. Like that look. Yes. R.M. does a good job mm -hmm. on training that horse and everything. I mean, they, him and Spencer, I mean, it's just like two peas in a pod. I mean, yeah. they just kind of match uh, off of each other. Yes, they've got a great program they going do. up there in Murfreesboro. Fantastic facility yes. The Jake Jacobs owns, and it's a uh, uh, first-class organization and great breeding studs yes. up there, too. Mm -hmm. Kingpin. This is mm. another Bob Adcox. Mm-hmm addition to his yeah. top horses. Always an exceptional horse behind him. Yes. Always just one of those very special. Uh, and I, I, is he, I think he's an honors or is he a uh, Jazz King horse? I, I don't know, know which one. I know the King thing horse is a Jazz King. Yes, Jazz King, yeah. yeah. And the King uh, Pin, I'm kind yeah. of with the name King, you yeah. kind of think that I'll have to ask Mr. Yeah. Adcock, but he's been a winner his entire life. Yes. Bob, he gets excited about these horse shows now. Oh, no, he, he does. He got a big smile on his face, always pleasant to talk to. And third generation. Yes. Oh. It's smoking yes. right here. That's what she's doing, smoking. Yeah, yeah. she is. Purchased her, that this mare, at the end of last year from the, uh, the Floyd Sherman. And uh, this horse has gone on now into the amateur division, and it's going to be at Tough act to follow, yeah, that's right. for sure. And another really nice person, very yeah. sweet lady. Mm -hmm. She is. She's a real nice person. Yeah. Tire moved along pretty good yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. He does. <laughs> now, Kenny. You know, I think they train this horse they sell. Right yes, here. yeah, yes. that's an AOT horse, uh -huh. yeah. And he's, um, remember, he did really well uh, throughout last summer. Yes. Doing well competing him. Seeing him a couple of times. Always, again, honest walk, long walking. Yes. Wears a bridle and reaches well. Yes. 
I'm gonna tell you this amateur on train. That's that's what I think where all the industry first started because a lot of yeah. people had the horses at their house and they used to work them themselves at home. Yes. And they start going to these shows. Yeah, and you don't yeah. see that at in many other breeds. Breed, either. That's that, right. Again, mm -hmm. it speaks to the versatility, the good nature of the horse, and the natural talent that the horse yeah. has. It's just, uh, they all don't have to be professionally trained. Yes. Allie Joe in his equitation class. She's a good little rider right there. Yeah, she's, she will be, uh, by the time she hits the adult division, she'll probably have more saddle time in than almost anybody. You're exactly right on that. Yeah. I think on Wednesday the Thursday, they drive her to Kentucky and she get riding lessons from Lee mm -hmm. Bennett mm -hmm. up there and yep. she rides all at her place and then over there at Sam Martin's. Yep. You know, she goes different places. Yep. It just amazes me her age and she got different trainers and yes. every trainer is going to want you to ride a different way. Absolutely. So Absolutely. she got to remember that in her brain. Yeah, which, which, which place she's at and which, which place one's she the one. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. but that's, uh, and learning how to sit properly in the saddle. Which, that's yeah. right. Now that's a horse of, of uh, the Beasley's. I was yeah. really impressed when I got it last year. I think he was a four-year-old last year, uh -huh. I think. And five this year, but I mean, he's uh, he's one that, again you didn't hear of his, uh, early oh, on in his yeah, career. Right. He really came onto the scene. I see. He's an exception. You know, this is again showing people how calm and easy these horses are. Mm -hmm. You know, and don't get me wrong, they've been showing for a good while there. But you know, that's still a young lady that's yes. on that horse. Oh, young yeah, girl well, that's on that horse. Yeah, right under there. seventeen. Yeah, so under seventeen. Teenagers just not. A big girl. That's what I'm saying. Is, well, and I say yeah, that yeah. horse got to be somewhere 1,100 pounds or whatever. Oh, yeah. And this, like this right oh, here. Oh, yes. Yeah, he, he, he's a little powerhouse. I don't yeah. know if I can ride him. I got to give Valley Joe kudos for that. Yeah. And of course, as we know, and a lot of people don't that may be new to the channel, new to the breed, and most of these horses are, uh, well, this is still stallion. That's right. He's still uh, stallion. Yeah, we're for, well, let's, I think Allie Joe's seven, eight years old yes, now. I yes, think. she's yeah. under 11. Yeah, uh -huh. yes, she's, yeah, about seven or eight. No, yeah. no more than eight, yeah. I think. And, uh, and that horse quite, going around that ring. He's, he's quite know, a powerhouse, uh, but he's he's still under control. Yeah. This little horse right here, I like this little horse. Big yeah. enough. I mean, mm -hmm. every time you go, he's a what you call that consistent horse. Every yeah, time you right. see him, he's going to do that same yeah. leg every He's going to be knocking at the door, door. knocking through the door. door. One that's right. Mm -hmm. He's good. And again, another horse that is, we remember, I believe, uh, when um, his two-year-old year at Carolina, North Carolina, at Asheville, uh -huh. I think uh, the uh, Rosberries owned him, yeah. sold him to the uh, Jim Carroll Lackey, who then uh, sold him to Beth Beasley, I yeah. think his three-year-old year. And he's uh, been a good one. He's a nice little horse. Mm -hmm. Texas, Bob, Bob, another one of his great horses. That's a pretty good size horse. I got to stand yeah. by that horse, and that yeah. horse is pretty good. I'm yeah, and, up. and that helps. Yeah. That helps. Well, you talk again, you, look, you just look at him, he's got a very short back horse, yeah, uh -huh. short couple horse for as big as he is. Helps with that stride to get so far underneath himself. Yes. And then to Nashville Elevate, that horse is just the way he goes and he goes very long yeah. both ends. I like one when his head up in the air mm -hmm. like that too. Oh yeah, and here's four, look at his ears. Yeah. He's paying attention to his rider, then looking forward to see what's mm -hmm. in front of him. And very keenly aware and just smooth and easy, but very powerful. Yep, that's, I tell you, that's, these horses, this amazes me, and I, and I, I think that's why I do it a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well uh, you, once you're in it, it's hard to, to leave. Like yeah. I always say, uh, there's no 12-step program for Tennessee walking horse enthusiasts. We we can't get away. We're not we're not leaving. You we're are, staying. You are exactly right. We'll be we'll be right back after these messages. Yeah.
During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We back here at Word of Horse. We're gonna do another thing with the horse, and I got Mr. Mike Emman right here. We got some more videos. I think this one yes. from the Fast Show. I see the butterflies. It's good for the season to get started. It's fun. The weather is good. It's starting to warm up. Ride your horses outside. Yes. And the season has begun. This amateur four-year-old Marion Gillen. This is a nice class right here. Yes. Again, it's always one of your bigger uh, amateur classes that shows. And uh, uh, you, you get, like I said, in the fourth year is when you start to get more and more geldings in the division. Yes. People take a, a horse that was a good stud but thought could be an exceptional gelding. Yes. And uh, so that, you know, you're... you're two-year-old and three-year-old, and all of a sudden you get your four-year-old, there's more horses in that division. Yeah. That's why it grows so much. Well, they always tell me, a good stud horse make a great gilding. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that is actually true. <laughs> it is actually true. Uh, and, uh, but they're, they're, you know, by age four, they're settling in and becoming really solid amateur mounts. Those that take a little longer to get ready, yes, as you uh -huh. know as a trainer, there's some that, as a two-year-old, there needs to be uh, mainly under the uh, trainer's guidance. And, well, a lot and of it is it make them, is it sell them horses down sometime when you, when you make them yield and yes. stuff like that. I mean, it make a totally different horse out of them. Yes. Which, which has value. Yeah. And that is. Now, I will say here, this is uh, our second show at the uh, Cooper Arena, it, it, it continues to be upgraded and, and yes. looking good. And I think the track here was uh, in even better shape than it was at the show. Yes, it was. They're starting to get the, the uh, hang of uh, this new uh, dirt surface yes. and getting that dialed in and it's, uh, it was a very pleasant show. It seemed like it was more level this time yes. than it was at the training show. Yes. Everything more on the, the track didn't look yeah. like a roller coaster. Now no. it looked like it was more level. Yeah, and it's the first free year, yeah. full year with that dirt, and uh -huh. it just uh, it takes a little getting used to. It. So I uh, was very impressed with the condition. Very good. Little flashes going off. Yes. The picture being taken. That's, that's another nice horse right there. Yeah, Caressa's horse has really come on, uh, and she made a great show. And this, of course, I think Caressa showed four or five, and she's, yes. she's a great horse, uh, horse rider, um, has been all of her life, and she's been out for a few years and came back last year, but she's... She's come, coming back strong. And full force. That's yes, right. she is now. She's coming back strong full force. You tremendous exactly shows. Right. And this, this one was really indicative. He's really, a, here's one between three and four year old. He's always been a good horse. Yes. But he's just come on to the next level, maybe, uh -huh. in that maturity.
This is Trail Pledger three and under class mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. I think this is who I am, uh, David Mast. Yeah. Made, made a really good show, and I think he showed two times at this show, if I yeah. remember correctly. Uh, won a championship and a reserve championship, and uh, just a really, really talented animal. That's a nice horse, head yeah, shaking, walking, walking and shaking. by. Yes, he's you know. good everywhere. And a lot of people look at these classes and, you know, sometimes say, well, I can't tell the difference. But if you really watch them, no, you can see the difference. you can tell the difference. You, you can, can tell the difference. Tell, yeah. You can tell the difference if you're really watching the horse. And, and if you look, it's really the same horse. Yeah. Uh, because it's still flat walk, run yeah. walk, and it's supposed to be doing the same, same striding yeah. behind and straight. Makes and these it, horses are doing what the walking horse was known to do, is walking behind and shaking the head. That's right. Yep, absolutely. And that's what the walking horse knows. They, I know a long time ago, the old folks used to say, if he wasn't shaking, he ain't walking. That's right. And that's true. <laughs> that's right. That's, you get yourself a nice yeah. uh, uh, saddle horse yeah. or a racking horse, but, and they're, they're great. No, but that really pronounced shape. Now, you can see that, just yeah. the exception. You can see why he got tied, how, how exceptional that head shake that's is. That's right. And it's timed perfect. Yes. And... Getting it's long not, behind. Yeah, not off good. beat or whatever. No. I mean, you can steady this. No. And, very, and very pronounced. Yes. And you can see why he's the first place horse in that class. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Dave and them, they another one. I mean, I take my head off of all them pleasure horse mm -hmm. trainers. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you. I mean, they they does a a, a good job with them horses. Well, it's. Uh, yeah, and you have to really, every trainer, what, whatever the uh, discipline is, has to spend time, but a, but a uh, walking trail pleasure horse yeah. or country pleasure horse, it takes a little more time. Oh yeah, it does. Again. And, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's talent and patience. And you have to have the patience. Absolutely. Well, that's really any horse, though. You got to have yeah. the patience when yes. you, you do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, it does. Yeah. This I think Chad stride. showed this horse one time. The Chad showed this horse. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, that's a nice horse. Mm -hmm. Chad, yeah, right yeah. There. Chad, Chad yeah. won with him and yeah. David was reserved. I think Chad's a, a basketball coach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chad's a good guy, mm -hmm. real nice guy. But that's what I'm saying. With different riders, the horse dealers doing the same yes. year. Mm -hmm. You know. Now this mm -hmm. class I like here. Yeah, absolutely. That's this class classic is part. Yeah, That's classic right. horse cat. These horses are over 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Still doing the same lick as a two or three year old yeah. horse of the day. This and horse right here is, a, I'm gonna tell you, been a good one for a long time. Yeah, he has been ever since he was two. Yeah. Mr. Heisman has won so many blue ribbons, world championships, world grand championships. I he, think the first time I ever seen that horse, I believe Hugh Taylor yeah. had him. Yeah, he did. He was two. And, two, and, then, Brand, and then Brandon Randy Mills uh -huh. started showing him because Brandon was helping Hugh over there at the moment. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And he was a horse that just came out, came up to the show, and nobody knew nothing about him, but wore him out in the class. Yes, there. And he did extremely well. Yes. Extremely well for the Evans. He raised him. Uh huh. And it's always fun to see in this class see who, what horse becomes eligible yeah. for this. And we, there's a lot of them that it's surprising how, you know, we, we kind of get a little jaded because we're used to seeing yeah. it. But uh, a horse of this age that could be this athletically competitive 
Uh, you just don't see another bridge. He, that, you just don't. You're right. He, and I think he's what? How old would you say he is, Mike? Uh, he is uh, a fall colt, and he's going to be 17 this year. Okay. Or, or, or let's see, last year was, for, no, he's 16 this year, but by actual age, he's in his 18th 18, year. Yeah, he's 18 a fall, years, that's right. 17th uh -huh. year, excuse me, because he's a fall colt. Still. Still, That's what I'm saying. Right. It's still going strong and everything else. You know? And fun to ride. Yeah. He's a blast to ride, I think. Had the opportunity to ride him a couple times. A bit yeah. of thrill. Bart Waters, he's doing a good job. Has a good fan been with yeah. us forever. And that horse right there, I'm going to tell you, he just, yep. just feel like he, he's strong going. You yes. know. And he's a little horse, too. Yeah. He's not a big horse. He's a pony. And he's a horse is new to this division. Yeah. He's a war horse. He's new to this division. And it's going to be very competitive. Mr. Bruce and that, that family is a nice family right mm -hmm. there. Yes. Bruce and Robin are, I mean, very, very nice people. Yep. Very good for the breed and supporters yes. when they lived in Alabama and when they lived in Georgia. And now yeah. they've retired here. And, into uh, Shelbyville and again uh, another uh, family that just uh, the horses bring you together but the people keep you here yeah, you're right and uh, you build great relationships that's special right there yeah You see Robin showing all the time. Now you see Bruce yes. in the ring. Yeah, yep. you know it's. Well, Robin said she got him broke for him. Yeah, that's she right. Him. <laughs> she put the mouth on. I'm gonna tell you this class right here is getting very. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yes. It's the talent there is deep, deep, yeah. deep. A long time ago, you say, well, I'm going to put him in the show pleasure class. Now you were uh, put, no. put a brace on him. Now. And what I like seeing here, this is five, and I like how that division is growing. And I would it hope helped. that we would start to um, put in classes for, let's say, two and three-year-olds, yeah. and then the five and under be four and five. Well, I did yeah. the, uh -huh. the flat shot pleasure did for, I think there's plenty of horses that are suited for that. that that's right. It would help uh, the trainers be able to split some of their the horses, horses up, up in the bar you, exactly. and find um, yet another division to be successful in. Yeah. And I'd like to see that because there's so many show pleasure, show pleasure horses. And you have 500, which this is good. I'm yeah. glad to see it being expanded, but now it needs to go in the uh, four, four to five and yeah. the two to threes. You got a lot of horses that's in here that's, you know, what I'm saying is it's three years old or two years old that they put in this class. Yeah, and they haven't, and they really, are, it's, we know, a two-year-old and a three-year-old is not as uh, advanced as a four- and a five-year-old yeah. is. It just, is, it just aren't. And, uh, again, I'd like to see that split up yeah. and, and do it Lake as an amateur. Lake a real good degree. job. I'll tell you, yeah. he's a good upcoming trainer right yes, there. Yes, he is, and that's a really good filly yeah. that uh, Stevens own. Yeah. And then uh, like this, the Maverick horses. Yeah. Bob Badcock's Maverick horses in there. Top Gun Maverick, yes. Did a great job. That's a there. nice horse. And he's won, uh, he's shifted divisions. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's going to be really a standout there. I, I tell you, in this class, in this division right here, you can almost have a whole show pleasure show. Yes. Because the, the talent yes. of the horses and the horses that's in there. Yeah, absolutely. I agree 100%. Now, this was Bruce. the cl class of now we're at. This sounds to be uh, the Bob Badcock tribute show, I guess. But he, his horse uh, won well, his class outstanding. Damn. And you talk I, about I'm ones damn. that, but uh, as we always say, is you don't know what you have. And a two-year-old till the winter between the two and three-year-old yeah. years, here's where horses really change. Change, and this, and this course right here one, was one of them. Was one of them. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I thought he was was special. Now, mm -hmm. and they had a lot of good horses in this class right here. Yeah, if I remember correctly, there was nine in that class. Yeah. 
definitely the, the deepest, most competitive class yeah. of the show. I mean, I'm going to tell you, that horse is getting it done right there mm -hmm. now. He's, and a big horse, it helps. Yeah. Look, he's fantastic. Very fluid, very strong, very fluid at the same time. And I'm going to tell you, Jesse Barnes had a pretty good horse. Yes, in there, he had a cold chills horse yeah. in there. Yes, very nice horse. He didn't show till later on in his two-year-old year. I was pretty familiar with him. He had uh, warts early in the year, so he did yeah. not get to come out till the second half of the year. Uh -huh. And uh, again, I think he was fourth or fifth. I mean, that's how yeah. competitive that's it was. That's what I'm it was, saying. It was a, it and I paid tra gladly played training right. on that yeah, horse right. that day. That I mean, quality of it. I mean, it was, this class wasn't just a class that was just a bunch of just mediocre horses in it. I mean, you had, that's him right there, Jesse Bowen's horse. Yep. Um, and he'll go amateur too. Yeah, but the ass coat right there, and that's what you yeah, you see what in the, maybe in the big state class when he turned four or five years old. Yes, big horse you like know. that, and he was across the board out of I think nine or ten yeah. top horses, horses, and he was still got all three judges uh, nods on that, and that's that's pretty impressive. Yeah, but now he's a. He's a nice horse. Mm -hmm. yeah, talk to Bob about it. He's probably going to have to take him back from Bill. Yeah. Say, Can you give me my horse back? <laughs> I want to be trapped. But now, hey, I'm going to tell you, he's. Oh. The size of the horse, the coordination, the freeness of the really yeah. light legged horse, that's just really. You know. Very, very impressive. Yeah. You get to watching these videos and you stop talking because you get to yeah, get said, Boy, pay attention. Good. <laughs> well, Pretty impressive. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to let you take us to commercial this time, man. Well, my, absolutely. Glad everybody's here. Hang on. We'll be right back. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, that, I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. More of What a Horse, coming up. Thank you for joining us okay. with What a Horse. Like I said, I got Mr. Mike Inman right here with us, and I think we're going to go back to some more fun show videos. Not fun show, fast show. I got my, I'm <laughs> jumping the gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not quite to the fun show yet, yeah, but we'll yeah. get there soon. This country lineman here. Yeah. That's another. I tell you, they got a, group, a good group of horses too. Oh, they do. That make you feel good when they announce that you cross the board. Yes, and all it is. You first. And that's really quite a feat, especially when you you know, it's you're, you're competing against good horses, especially yes. at a horse show like this. Uh -huh. and to get that, that's that's special. I tell you, there's a lot of classes just to get away with a good ribbon, especially. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hampshire Mary Gelling. Okay, this is. Uh, Super competitive class. Yes. 
And how about Jose? I'm not all about Jose, uptight Jose. With Bruce, he wins this class. Yes. And there you talk about earlier, uh, a good style makes a great gelding. Uh -huh. Here's an example that, here. They, they, he had to, to uh, make him a gelding do, for health reasons. Yes. And he was very, very super competitive stallion, won world championships as a stallion. And then as a gelding, uh, he's, uh, he's either won or been second every time he's shown him. I don't think anything lower than that. And uh, here was another class of uh, 10 plus horses and uh, he was across the board unanimous. Well, the, the biggest thing with me, and then that, that, this is me, mm -hmm. you take that stallion or that mare, they have their moves. Mm -hmm. Nine out of 10, that gilding gonna be the same way. He's like a, a sewing machine. He gonna be the same way every time you get ready to ride him. Mm -hmm. You don't have nothing on his mind, but it's working. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, you take a yeah. stallion, sometimes you gotta worry about, you oh, know, yeah. somebody's mare, especially you go to out of town shows, somebody's mare next yeah. to you, yeah. or something like that, you know. Oh yeah, they want to play with the horses over the stalls and all that. Yeah. No, it, of course, they, what what holdback is you know, and it, of course, you can still sell them for a lot of money oh, yeah, if, right. you, if they're mm -hmm. good enough. But a lot of people say, "Well, I'll keep saying, well, you don't need to be breeding that many stallions yeah. anyway." Good, good class here. It's Very a really good class. Top. Yeah, great way to stop. stop. Real yeah. nice horse. I believe all the blue ribbons Robin and Bruce made, I think they can put curtains uh, all through their yeah, houses. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All blue curtains. ribbon curtains. Yeah, I think yeah, you're exactly blue, right. And probably curtains. have a couple bushel back and left and over. over. That's right. <laughs> but that's something that never gets old. Yeah. Ain't nothing like riding a real top horse and, you know, mm -hmm. and doing that right there, making that victory pass. Yes. You know. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten too many opportunities <laughs> to do that, but the few I do remember, yes, it's, it's ecstatic, ecstatic to do it. It's, uh... This was another good class right here. Yes, it was. Yes, it was a very good class. Oh, this is one, yes, this is the horse of caresses that I think is another one really made a tremendous yes. change uh -huh. uh, over the winter. Yeah, looking at And she's also somebody that's had good equitation experience yes, uh -huh. and shows in the side one. Appreciate that. And I take my hat off to these horses because of the stuff they had to go through to get into this class mm -hmm. right yes. here. You know, mm -hmm. with the inspection and everything else. Yes. So, I mean, yeah. it's... No, it's a testimony that the, the issue is not the soundness and the quality of our horses. That's right. It really is. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of it. Now, I tell you, this class right here, mm -hmm. to me, this is what a trail pledger horse should do. And mm -hmm. I might be wrong, because I'm not a trail pledger expert, but I'm just talking about, if I was just looking at something that was real mm -hmm. nice and easy going, mm -hmm. this is what I like right here. Shaking yes. his head, you know, not mm -hmm. stepping real big, but just sliding across the ground and mm -hmm. everything's smooth. Absolutely, you're right. Oh, here's our answer at the very uh -huh. top one. There's, there's a scout who'd yeah. won the previous uh, two weeks, one uh, two weeks earlier at the trainer show. In the back of this class has great reserve performance. It wasn't a slouch in this class, either. No. Well, there's a multi-world champion, King Tang. I mean, yeah. there, there were. There is no, <laughs> there is no easy road, road anywhere. Right there. Old horse, their name is 
Nickname was Bag of Shavings. Bag of, is that what his yeah. name was Zorro? Bag of Shavings? No, the King Thing. King Thing, oh. Yeah. Yeah, there's Zorro Jr. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's a whole, that's nice. Yeah, yeah awesome. just yeah. consistent. She want one. Of and good. Doing a lot, but doing it really easy. Yeah. And that's like I say, you know, one weekend he was reserved. Now this weekend, he, mm -hmm. you know, next mm -hmm. couple weekends later he wins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so that's, that's what I like about this horse. It all yeah. depends, you know, on how it is that night. Yeah, absolutely. There. They're incredible animals, but they're not machines. Yeah, so that's right. A little different, and you don't know who you who you're going to be up against yes, either. Yeah, that's right. And the judging is all depends on what you like. Yeah. What kind of what kind of gear you like yeah. on a horse? Well, and they're all they're very close. I yeah. mean, it's close mm -hmm. competitive Friends. ball game. That's right. It's, it's so. And also people forget sometimes with three judges, a horse can make a bobble or a rider can make a bobble in yeah. front of one judge, but not the other two, yeah. and it'll change and you say, you know, it, it, it's, especially these multi-judge shows, yes. you've got to show your horse all the way around. Now this horse right here have made a big change, have made a difference to me. It's Eli Cunningham's yes. little horse. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna tell you, this is, he was, like Tom, Tom would say he was throwing baseballs right there. <laughs> now he, I mean, he was real good. And if I remember correctly, he was across the board unanimous yes, too. Yes, uh huh. Medalist. Yeah. He's, he's, uh... Eli, he he really liked them horses. Now he get into showing them horses. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we talk about it, it's such a good family sport. Oh yeah. That's it's good for the kids to learn how to win, learn how to yeah. lose gracefully, learn how to be a good sport, learn how to be competitive. A nice horse right there. Yes. But that's like a, over the winter, this horse here had changed. No. And you know, and that's what I'm saying. I think that's about one of the best shows I've seen him make. Absolutely, to me. yes. Yeah. Well, it's just indicative too that some these horses just can get better. Better, that's you right. You think, well, you think a horse is nine or ten, well, he's in his his prime yeah. physically. Uh huh. Uh, so yeah, when he's eight, nine, ten, he should be better. Yeah. And six or seven, you wouldn't think so because you hear like Kentucky Derby is yeah. three year old. Uh -huh. You think it's all over, over after that? Yeah, no, right. ours ours is just starting. But um, this was a good class. This horse hit showed twice. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's you know, that's saying a lot. Absolutely. That's 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 saying a lot right there. And when you can, sh when you know the way things is in the back back there and inspection, yeah. and you mm -hmm. can get in twice and show and and everything. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's a that's a show that, enough. That's great statement. Yeah. This is a good horse here too. Yes, he's been successful. His old, one of, yeah, one of the few line walking horses. Well, he was still able to breed, and uh, always consistent, powerful horse. Could I see Tim Smith back in the saddle? He's yeah. doing real well. Mm -hmm. Showing absolutely, he's happy to be there. Yeah. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, this is two shows in a row yes. for Bob mm -hmm. on Mr. Kingpin. No, he was reserved. He was at, reserved at a uh, trainer show yeah. and wins it. But that's what I'm saying. You yeah, know, yeah. these horses, you know, you can go from being a reserve, a third, and the next weekend turn out, to, you know, to, to, win. to win it. Yeah. Yep. Good horse right there. Yeah, and you were right. You said earlier, I don't think anybody enjoys it any more than Bob uh, does. Yeah, he likes it now. And, it's, and Deb, his wife, and their family. Yeah. Now, they're, they're in the process of moving to Shelbyville from Pennsylvania. Okay. Just, uh, or spending more of their time, time here. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Semi-retiring.
this is a nice little mm -hmm. overset too. Been good for a while. Mm -hmm. Very pronounced head shakes, boy. It's yes. kind of been his trademark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's taken uh, at least Bradford from uh, juvenile into amateur classes. Yeah, uh -huh. It's been a good horse. Gliding along, just mm -hmm. doing his thing. Yep. Now, this was a good horse now. He was, he was good. Yeah, he's one that uh, are just super special. Yeah. And I just love the way Tim has developed his canner. Yeah. He's got a gorgeous old time canner yeah. now. Uh-huh. And uh, like I said, there's another example of he's just a gorgeous horse yeah. up close on him, just a beautiful animal. Nice horse. Yes. I think Tim Dad was at the horse show. Oh really? Yeah. Tex was there? Uh -huh. I, uh, sorry I missed it. Now he's real nice horse. Yeah, that's special. Yeah. Tim, was, he worked toward it. I've been knowing Tim mm -hmm. ever since he was young out there, and I mean, mm -hmm. he always worked mm -hmm. toward it, what he's doing. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah, he, he loves, loves it. it. He loves that horse. Works real hard. Yeah. Certainly does. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I tell you, we had, aside all the stuff that went on and stuff like that, but the the show's been having some pretty talented horses at the Yeah, show. and it's, it's going to be even more so, too. I visit a lot of barns. I get to go around and. And uh, like I said, we're just kind of tip of the iceberg, just getting started for the year. Yes. And I think you're going to see uh, shows with more attendance to them uh, and horse-wise. And uh, the quality, again, is phenomenal. And just get, just got to keep doing keep doing what we're doing, the right thing. Don't give up. And uh, it'll come yeah, around. Yeah, it will. I believe so. You just got to keep your composure and, you mm -hmm. know, and, mm -hmm. and everything and just, and just hope for the best. Mm -hmm. You know. Absolutely. But, I mean... Well, we did have some pretty good shows, I thought, and got some that's coming up. This, oh yeah, we're pretty we're going to be in the middle of it here, yeah, that's real, right. real quick, right and in the middle of it, and then it's it's going to be from well, are you going to the show, show or which one of these shows this weekend are you, you going, going to? to? That's right, and that's really fun, and that's when it uh, uh, the fever pitch starts to come. Because really I good. guess in April here we got show almost every weekend. This, yes, well, we this, talked to yeah. you got the Smokies uh, this weekend. Uh, followed then be one week off of, as far as relatively in this area. Yeah. Then, then Cleveland and then uh, back in Shelbyville. Back in Shelbyville, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, be plenty of opportunity to go out and uh, grab a, a thing of popcorn and sit down and, and uh, enjoy your show and start the bragging rights. And, yeah, you and, uh, exactly right. Uh, the speculation of who's going to do what gonna and who's going to do what. You're you know, exactly so, right. So we'll be in it. It'll be good. Yeah. But uh, Mike, I'm glad you came and sat with me again there, and hope we can get you some more to come and do it. I I really enjoyed the time spending with you and well, talking and same talking here. about these horses. Same here. love it. Yeah, I love mean, it. It's, it's, a, it's a big thing. But just like I say, y'all be safe and good luck at the horse shows. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.